From Hockey Arena to Curling Rink, there's a lot that needs to be done, and with a three-day deadline, there's no time to waste. This transformation will have challenges, the greatest being coordinating. We have over 240 volunteers helping out in uh, various areas, um, coordinating all those, getting everybody set up, uh, scheduling, um, and getting the facility prepared. The Flight Exec Center began renovations in 2009, adding another ice pad. The idea was to have the pad used for sticks and pucks, not brooms and rocks. The facility uh, lends itself to lots of different events, and this is just one more. Uh, obviously, the whole community is very excited to host the event, and who knows what the future brings. Perhaps we'll have other uh, provincial or perhaps even national championships which can be held here. The construction of the extension lasted roughly 17 months. Right now, the building is operating at full capacity. How can this serve the community the best? And we surveyed other, you know, a lot of different groups, and there was public consultations. But it was really the biggest challenge was the design, is what are you building, how does it serve the community, you know, for years and years to come. The community has responded well to the extension. After all, just about everyone is connected to the building. It was really, really a community effort, and it continues to be. Uh, we have um, such a broad spectrum of the community who continues to use the facility, enjoy it. Uh, really, very, very seldom do we hear anything negative about what this has meant to the community. Even though the tankard has created a buzz in the community, the sight of a full parking lot is nothing new. With your After 5 feature, I'm Robert Springett.